Hello everybody. So today I wanted to show you how you can update a Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 computer in the year 2025. Now you can still get those updates. You just have to go a different way than the normal Microsoft Windows update that's built into Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. So I wanted to show you how you can do that on your Windows computer. Now, I do want to let you know that Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 are both out of support for Microsoft. They're not going to receive any more additional updates except the ones that have already been released. But I wanted to show you how you could get it up to date and then you could put an antivirus on that computer and continue to use it if you had a specific program that you needed to run on that Windows 8 machine. So let's go over to the computer now and I'm going to show you all the steps you have to take in order to do that. Okay, so as you can see, I have a fresh install of Windows 8, not even 8.1, just Windows 8 on this computer. Now, I did go ahead and install Firefox, which you can see right down here in the taskbar. And you can install it on your computer if you have trouble pulling this up with Internet Explorer. But go ahead and launch either Internet Explorer or Firefox. And then once it opens up, we're going to go to duckduckgo.com. So right up here in the address bar, I'm going to type in duckduckgo.com, press enter, and then I'm going to go over and in this search bar right here, I'm going to type in legacy space update. And then you can either press enter or click the search icon right here. Now, when you get the results, you want to click on this very first one right here. It says Legacy Update, Get Back Online, Activate, and Install Updates. So I'm going to click on that one, and it's going to take you to this page right here. Now, this will work with Windows 2000, XP, Vista, 7, 8, 8.1, 10, and 11. And it also includes the Windows Server releases as well. Now, if you wanted to do this on an older machine, like 9598 ME or NT 4.0, they say go to their sister project, which is called Windows Update Restored. Well, we want to do the legacy update. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on this icon right here, which says install legacy update. And if you'll notice, it downloaded it right up here. I'm going to click on this little icon, which will open up the downloads folder. And then when it opens up the downloads folder, there's the legacy update 1.1. I'm going to go ahead and right click on it and run as administrator. And then I'm going to click yes to allow it to make changes to this computer. Now, here it wants to know, do you want to update the Windows Servicing Stack Update, which you need to. That's how the legacy update would work. And then you can also update the root certificate store, the activate windows, and the legacy update. I'm going to go ahead and do all of those and just click install. Now, at this point, we're finished with the downloads folder. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. And I'm also going to go ahead and close Firefox as well. So I'm going to close both of those. And then the legacy update is still going to be running in the background. Now, depending on how fast your machine is, how fast your internet connection is, it may take just a little bit to finish, but we'll give that just a few moments, and then I'll be right back once it's installed. Okay, so as you can see, it finished installing the legacy update, and it opened Internet Explorer, and immediately went to the legacy update website. Now, here it says... This web page wants to run the following add-on, Legacy Update from Hashbang Productions. I'm going to click Allow, and this is going to allow it to get the updates that it needs to have. Now, if it asks a couple times, just keep clicking Allow, and eventually it won't ask you anymore. And you can also make the window full screen just by clicking the Maximize button, which is right here. It just looks like a little square. And as you can see, it is checking for the latest updates for this computer. Now, again, I know I mentioned this earlier. Please be very careful to have some kind of antivirus or protection on your Windows 8 or 8.1 machine. Because if you connect this thing to the Internet and you go and you start browsing the Internet, it'll probably get filled with viruses 
in just a matter of minutes because it's not protected anymore since they haven't released any updates for it in years. But this will at least get all the updates installed up to the very last one that they released. And then you can put an antivirus software on the computer and you'll be protected from anything. So if you have to use it for a program, at least you would have the protection for the Windows 8 or the Windows 8.1. So that may take a few moments. Let's let that finish checking for updates and I'll show you all the updates that showed up and then we can go ahead and install them. So let's give that just a moment. Okay, so as you can see, I have quite a few updates. <laughs> I have 89 high priority updates and 32 optional software updates. And if I scroll down on the list, you'll see all the high priority ones are selected, but none of these optional ones have been selected. So I'm gonna go ahead and click select all and then keep scrolling down the list and that's the bottom. So all of them have been selected at this point. So now I can either click install updates right here on the left side, or you can just scroll back up to the top and you can say review and install updates. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and it's gonna show me all the updates that have to be installed, which is 960.5 megabytes. And it's gonna take about three minutes to download and then it has to install all of those. So I'm gonna go ahead and click install updates and then I'm gonna let this just run. It's gonna take it quite a while to download everything and then install it. But I'm gonna let you see the end result where all the updates have been installed and that'll keep you protected in case for some reason you still happen to be running Windows 8 or 8.1 on your computer and you absolutely need to have it for a piece of software. This would at least make sure all the updates have been installed that were released for Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. And then of course, just put an antivirus software on there It'll keep you protected while you have to be on the internet. And if you don't have to be on the internet at all, that's even better. Just make sure these updates are installed, run the program that you need, and then you're good to go. But if you do have to be on the internet, please put an antivirus program on there just to keep you protected. But we'll let that run. You'll be back up and running here in just a few moments, and I'll speed it up for you, of course. And then you can see the end result. So I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so it finished installing all 121 updates for Windows 8. And however many updates you have available for your computer, just go ahead and click on Restart Now so that it can finish installing all those updates. And then when it comes back up, then I'll show you the next steps. So go ahead and click Restart Now, and then it's going to go ahead and restart the computer. And then we'll finish up the last few steps that you have to take in order to get your Windows 8 completely up to date. So give that just a few moments to finish restarting and when it comes back up I'll show you exactly what to do. Okay so as you can see the updates finished installing on my Windows 8 computer. Now, if you get a notification that says that there are more updates available, just go ahead and click close and then go back into Windows. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go back down here to the Internet Explorer. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to DuckDuckGo.com up here in the address bar just by typing in DuckDuckGo.com and then press Enter. And then once you get here, you want to type in legacy update and then press enter. Now here you want to go back to the legacyupdate.net website. And you can just do that by clicking on this legacy update, get back online, activate and install your updates. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to install some more updates by clicking on install updates right here on the left. And then go ahead and click yes 
to allow the legacy update program to make changes to your computer. Now, I will take a moment for it to find more updates for the computer, so let's give that just a moment, and I'll show you the next steps. Now, while it's still checking for updates, I wanted to let you know the reason we're doing this another time is because sometimes you have to install one update before the next update can be installed. So, we're going to go and check to see if there's any more updates that need to be installed for Windows 8. And then, of course, if you want, you can always upgrade this computer to Windows 8.1. And then you can also upgrade Windows 8 or 8.1 or even 7 to Windows 10 if you would like to. But this would at least get your Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 computer up to date with all the updates that are available for that version of Windows. So let's give that just a few moments and then we'll go ahead and install any more updates that happen to show up. Okay, so it looks like it found about 19 more high priority updates that need to be installed. And down towards the bottom, it has two more optional updates. Well, I'm going to go ahead and select the two optional updates as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and review and install those updates just by clicking on it. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on install updates and it's going to download and install all 21 of those updates. So go ahead and click install updates and it's going to do that for your computer as well. And then once that finishes, you would want to check it one more time just to see if there happens to be any lingering updates that still haven't been installed. But if not, and you don't have any more updates, then it's completely up to date. And these people at Legacy Update did a phenomenal job helping us to get those updates back. So if you want to support them, you can. All you have to do is just click on the link on the left side of the page, and that would give them some support if you wanted to donate 5 or $10 to help them out just to keep their servers on and to thank them for all the hard work they did to allow these updates to be available. But I hope that helps you too to get yours up to date. So let's give that just a few moments to finish. And then once we make sure it's completely up to date, I'll be right back with you. Okay, so it just finished installing all those updates and I told it to restart. And so it has finished installing all the updates that are available for Windows 8. Now you could update this to Windows 8.1 or even Windows 10 if you wanted to, but I'm just going to leave it at Windows 8. But that's how you would get all the Windows 8 or 8.1 updates on your computer. So I hope that was helpful on how you can install all the Windows updates for your Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 computer so you can get it up to date if you happen to still be using it. And just make sure you get a good antivirus software installed on it so you can stay protected while you go onto the internet. If you do have any questions about this or just need me to go into more depth about it to help you with it, please let me know down below in the comments and I will do my best to get back to you. And if there's a video topic or article that you would like me to make a video on, please let me know that down below in the comments as well, and I will do my best to create that video for you. And if you found this video helpful and you want to support this channel, I included a link in the video description where you can buy me a cup of coffee if you'd like to. And because you all do such a great job, if you can, hit that like and subscribe button so I can keep putting up more great videos like how do I install the Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 updates on my computer now that Microsoft has stopped releasing those updates for the operating system. And I'll be glad to keep putting up all these great videos for you all. Thanks so much, everybody. I really appreciate you all. I hope you have a great day. Take care. God bless, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.